Okay, let's put our new found decorator design pattern expertise to work in a public class named test. We're going to put the decorator pattern to work. We're going to create a computer object of our computer class. As you recall, it just the description method in this computer class just returns the word, the single word computer. And so we're going to start off by creating a computer object. This is the test harness, the test class. We're going to run in order to see things work. And now we want to add a disk to that computer. And so we pass that computer object to the disk wrapper. The disk wrapper, as you remember, is going to add the text and a disk to the description returned by the computer object. So the computer object is passed to the disk classes constructor and we're going to store that as the as the new version of the computer object in fact it's been wrapped by a disk object as, as you see there it's the wrapper has been added that's the essence of the decorator design pattern is to work with wrappers now we're going to add a monitor you do that by using a monitor wrapper as you see here we're going to pass this newly added disk computer system to the monitor wrapper as you see here, computer object is being passed to the monitor classes constructor, which adds a, another wrapper around and appends the text and a monitor to the computer object's description method. So now the computer object's description method is going to return computer and a disk and a monitor. We're going to store that as the newly configured computer object once again. Then we're going to add a CD. In fact, we're going to go crazy and add two CD-ROMs just to show how this works. We pass the computer object, the newly configured computer object, with these two wrappers, the disk and monitor wrappers, to the CD wrapper and store the resulting object as computer object again. And that's going to cause the description method of the current computer object, as you see highlighted here, to return computer and a disk and a monitor and a CD. Now just to emphasize that you can use multiple wrappers multiple times in the decorator design pattern using the decorator design pattern. You pass that computer object, the newly configured computer object, to a CD wrapper once again and that adds another wrapper to the computer object and you have the computer object being reconfigured there to have two CDs. So now you have the computer description is going to return your a computer, monitor, and a CD, and a CD. So now we're going to print out, you're getting a, and then computer.description. In order to see how those four wrappers have augmented the return value from just the computer, the original computer class's description method. So let's see how that works. We're going to run the test method now, as you see here, and you get, you're getting a computer and a disk and a monitor and a CD and a CD. So you see all of the wrappers have done their things appropriately, as you see right there. So now let's take a look at what we've done with the decorator method. You have a computer class and it has a description method. Originally you had to modify the description method to print out computer and a disk and a computer and a monitor and so forth. And instead with the wrappers of the decorator pattern, you could say computer class has a description which just returns computer. That can be wrapped by a disk wrapper as you see here. And the disk wrapper can be modified again by enclosing it inside a monitor wrapper and so forth. And that's the idea behind the decorator pattern. You can customize your objects by adding multiple wrappers over and over again, even the same wrapper twice or more times as well. And that is how the decorator pattern works. And it's a good one because it allows you to customize your objects without modifying your code each time for specific circumstances. That's the decorator pattern.